Hi guys, my name is Mayana and today I'm going to be doing my favorite book tag ever, which is the mid-year freakout tag. This is like my fifth or sixth year doing this tag. This is my favorite tag ever. I try to do it every year. I look forward to it every year. I just now realized that instead of going to find someone who wrote the tag down in their description, that I could just find a picture of the questions. I just this one is from I found one from all the way back to 2016 so I could have just been had this picture this entire time it, I every year every year I find someone's description and then I copy and paste it. it it's a thing um so let's just get into it so the first question is best book you've read so far so I have three books for this answer so I have funny story by Emily Henry I absolutely love this book I have a reading vlog on it I have a video where I'm ranking Emily Henry books I love her I'm always trying to convince people to read her and listen I always say if you want to start off with Emily Henry start off in her publication order so you want to start off with Beach Read um my favorite book by her used to be Book Lovers. I never thought a book would top that, especially after Happy Place. Man, funny story was so good. It is about this girl who her boyfriend dumps her for his best friend, his girl best friend. And so she ends up, the main character ends up moving in with the girl best friend's ex-boyfriend. And they kind of fake date, but not really. And they end up forming their romance of their own. They're literally Nick and Jess from New Girl. The next book I have is One Week in Paradise. And this is about this girl who... Is supposed to go on this brand trip but she ends up breaking up with her boyfriend she isn't gonna go but then her friend's like girl you need this even though it's a couple's brand trip she's like girl you need this but then she's like okay fine brother ends up convincing her to take his best friend so it's like best friend's brother fake dating and it's the perfect summer read i read it in like the middle of october when it was like freezing cold because i wanted it to be summer now it's summer and i'm so hot that i literally have my fan like blowing on the highest air possible okay yeah it's so amazing and then i also have for three I have lipsticks and camera clicks. This is so good. It's a love triangle. So if that's not your thing, then like whatever. But if you love love triangles, please check it out. I absolutely love, I think what, love triangles are one of my favorite tropes ever. So this one is about this girl who boyfriends ends up breaking up with her. And she ends up going on this romance show where she has this romance, obviously. It's like, it's kind of like The Bachelor, even though I've never fucking seen The Bachelor. Um, So she ends up going to this romance show and she ends up falling in love with the guy who is that she's competing for but she also is falling in love with the producer who is her best friend like her childhood best friend so it's very fun i love it i love the cover i love seeing black girls get their own love stories like it's such a good book best sequel you've read so far in 2024 i actually haven't really read a lot of sequels if you know me you know i'm trash at reading series so i have read the percy jackson series so this is the final book in the percy jackson series i started i ended last year reading percy jackson and i started off this year reading percy jackson and it was actually just such a fun thing to do so i actually really love this battle the, this is the third book this isn't even is it i don't know how to read roman numerals so it really doesn't matter but um yeah percy jackson and whatever the fucking last book is i had such a fun time reading it i sped through the series it was so cute i love percy um i can't see wait to see where the series goes it is new release you haven't read yet but want to uh oh I literally pulled this book out. So I got this book from my library and that is The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. So I was really excited for this book at the beginning of the year. And then for some reason, like when the book came out, there wasn't really like nobody was really talking about it when the book came out. So I was like, okay, well, maybe it's as, but I went to my library and it was in the new section. So I was like, whatever, it's here. So I'm going to check it out. So this is due in like three days. So hopefully I get to it. But if I don't, then I don't. So hopefully, you know, by the time you see this video, I've read it. But if not, then I'm probably not going to read this book. I got this book on my Libby. Then I was like, I don't really want to read this. So um, we'll see. Next question is most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Graveyard Shift. I'm so excited for that. That one sounds so good. From what I remember, it's about these group of i don't know if they're friends or these group of people but they're basically working the great yard shift and it just sounds so intriguing and then i'm also really excited for i was a teenage slasher by stephen graham jones i've only read one book by him even though i do own my heart as a chainsaw yeah i love slashers 
I have another poster behind that, but I don't know, it's not that serious. Horror is my favorite. Like, I'm a horror movie enthusiast, and slashers are one. If I don't know anything, I know I know slashers. They're my favorite type of trope in movies, but I think they don't translate well in, like, books. That's why I haven't read My Heart is a Chainsaw, because I'm really scared that it's not going to be good. Biggest disappointment, uh, The Seven Year Slip. I just read that last month. I didn't do a May wrap-up just because I really didn't feel like filming a may wrap up i'm not gonna lie to you guys there was no reason why i didn't do one but i read the seven year slip in may and i read it because i'm doing a battle of the books with jake and um some of our other friends and so battle of the books is where um we all picked five books that we all have to read and um i think we're gonna do it in august so sometime in August, there's going to be like a quiz on all the books that we read. I read it way too soon, to be honest. I read the seven year slip way too soon. But there's going to be a quiz on all the books that we had to read. And so I read the seven year slip because it was a romance. I was like, it was going to be click. I didn't really love that book. Um, I was really disappointed because it's so hyped. So it's about this girl who her apartment is like in the past and there's this guy that she ends up like meeting in the apartment and he's like seven years uh behind or ahead of her i can't remember and whenever she yeah so it's like kind of like magical realism type of thing i just thought that their romance was very bland to be honest there was nothing for me to root for in their romance and the main character just kept like I don't know the when it came to like her and her career I was like getting very annoyed like when she talked about her career like the way that she talked about it it was just like very annoying biggest surprise biggest surprise would actually have to be fire and blood if you know me you know I love a good like hyperfixiation and so I end up hyperfixiating I love to hyperfixiate on a franchise I love when the franchise has like books and like tv shows and movies and just a bunch of stuff that I can really indulge myself in so I started watching House of the Dragon this year I fell in love with it then I read Game of Thrones but House of the Dragon is just like it's my absolute favorite like I love it so much so I read Fire and Blood this year and I absolutely loved it um I definitely like I don't know I thought I was gonna be too dumb to read it like I just thought it was gonna be too dumb to understand it for some reason but it's really just like the history and it's like a gossip column like not really but like sort of kind of and because it's like George R.R. Martin got the notes from from someone so he's recording their history um so it was just it's very fascinating I love it I love House of the Dragon I love Companion to love House of the Dragon I love seeing like what they changed because they've changed a lot so far so I like seeing like what they changed I do like the original story better but I love House of the Dragon don't get me wrong so I, I was just very surprised I didn't think I would ever be like a Game of Thrones girl favorite new author I don't have a favorite author you guys know this like I, my rule is that I need to have three or more books i need to have read three or more books by an author it cannot be written in a series they all have to be separate books and they all have to be five stars so i still don't have an answer to this question because i am a critical reader so uh sorry it was fictional crush miles novak from funny story i just put him in my fictional boyfriends so i probably put a new fictional boyfriend in my fictional boyfriend list like every three years like I don't just be going around like adding fictional boyfriends okay like you gotta meet my standards and so yeah Miles Novak from Funny Story newest favorite character I would say Rhaenyra Targaryen and Bela Targaryen from House of the Dragon uh, a lot of Targaryens to be honest uh Sarah Seastar which she's mentioned in the seven the seven fuck night of the seven kingdoms but she's not really like shown in it she's not really like written yet but i love her book that made you cry i actually don't think i've cried so far this year book that made you happy okay so i actually just read magic lesson and this book is actually kind of boring i'm not gonna hold you up but i loved reading this book it was so much fun uh this book is in the practical magic series and this is the first book in the series if you're reading it in chronological order can't tell you what book number it is if you're reading it in publication order but this one is about marie owens who ends up starting the owens family curse that they have and it's about motherhood and generational trauma and generational curses and i'm just so fascinated by this owens family when i tell you the quotes in this book are insane like they are insanely good like they're so good and it took me a while to read this because you know i really i pretty much read fast there's no plot in this book so it kind of was hard to get through because not a lot was happening but 
when I sat down to read it every night, I was so happy. Like I was loving what I was reading. Most beautiful book you bought or received this year. And I actually received Evocation by S.T. Gibbons. So um, Angry, Angry Robot, which is the publisher for this book, sent this to me. And I'm so grateful, honestly. Like, I'm so happy that they sent this book to me because I read Evocation last year. It just came out this year, but I read it last year. I absolutely loved it. I love this cover. It was so sad because back when I had a job, I pre-ordered this book. And when I lost the job, I was just about to... Like, I just remember, like, the book was coming out and I need to cancel my pre-order because I don't have any money. I don't have a job. So I was going to cancel my pre-order. And that same week, I checked my email and the publishing company was like, hey, we want to send you this book. Excuse me? Like, I, literally the best thing that ever happened to me. I absolutely love this book. What book do you need to read by the end of the year? Damn, I did not prepare for these questions. I actually have so many books that I need to read by the end of the year. The Bone Season. Me and Jemaya are doing a buddy read for this. She coerced me into it, okay? So we're going to be doing a buddy read for this series. I've already read the first book. I thought it was okay. I didn't move on in the series, but I need to get better at my series. Five Broken Blades. When I got sent this book, I was like, okay, like, you know, I don't know if I'm really interested in this. And I put it on my stack of books. And then I started realizing that this book was going popular. And I was like, wait a minute. I own that. So I want to read this. I think this will be a good summer read. And also, I am doing my summer's reading program. And for the adults, the summer reading program is a uh, bingo board. So one of the bingo board prompts is to read a book out of your comfort zone. And I'm not really a romantic girly. So I'm going to be reading this for that prompt. So that way, like, I can, like, get this book. Like, if I don't like it, I can you know get this book out of the way that is it for this video i hope that you liked it let me know what your favorite books are this year what your least favorite books are and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one